Hello Grade 11s and welcome to today's lesson on the sine function. We are going to investigate the effects of changing the amplitude and the period of the standard graph along with the effects of vertical and horizontal shifts. We will then be able to define the effects changing various variables will have in the formula y equals a times sine k into brackets x plus p plus q. Let's start by looking at the standard sine graph and its amplitude. This is the standard graph y equals sine x. The amplitude of this graph is 1. Amplitude is the height of the graph from the middle point. In this case, the graph has the x-axis running through the middle of it. This means that we can measure the amplitude by looking at the distance between the highest point on the graph and the x-axis. When a graph is moved vertically, it can be difficult to see the amplitude. There is a calculation we can do to find the amplitude. Amplitude is equal to half times the maximum y value minus the minimum y value of the graph. Now let's change the amplitude of the standard sine graph to 3. We start by listing all the main coordinates for the standard sine function. The change in amplitude will only affect the y values. We must multiply all the y coordinates by 3. The new coordinates are 0, 0, 90, 3, 180, 0, 270, negative 3, 360, 0. Let's plot these points on the same axis as our standard graph and see what this graph looks like. The graph has stretched by 3 units. This has increased the amplitude to 3. Let's look at the equation of the new graph. The standard graph has the equation of y equals sine x. We wanted the amplitude of the graph to be 3 times bigger than the standard graph. To do this, we multiplied all the y values by 3. The new equation is y equals 3 times sine x. To change the amplitude of the function, we multiply the y values of the standard graph by a. We write this equation as y equals a times sine x. We can also stretch or compress the sine function horizontally by changing the period of the graph. In order to change the period, we need to multiply the x values of the graph. The variable k shows a change in period. Remember that the period of the graph is the number of degrees it takes for the graph to complete its shape. The period of the standard sine graph is 360 degrees. Here is the standard graph of y equals sine x. If we compress the period by a factor of 4, the function looks like this and has the equation of y equals sine 4x. If we want to stretch the period, we could multiply the x values by half, giving us this graph with the equation y equals sine half x and looks stretched. Let's summarize what we've learned so far. In the formula, y equals a times sine k into brackets x plus p plus q, a vertically compresses or stretches the graph, and the value of k horizontally compresses or stretches the graph. We can also say that the period of a sine graph is equal to 360 degrees divided by k. We have seen that in other functions, the value of q shifts the graph up or down. It is no different with trig functions. If q is positive, then the graph will shift up, and if q is negative, then the graph will shift down. Let's look at two examples of this. Let's move the standard function y equals sine x up two units. The equation of the graph that moved up two units is y equals sine x plus 2. Let's sketch the graph y equals sine x minus 3 on the same set of axes. 
This graph is three units below the standard function. Only the y coordinates have changed. We know how to stretch the sine graph both vertically and horizontally. We also know how to shift the graph vertically. Now, let's look at how to shift the graph horizontally. To show the horizontal shifts, we use the variable p. If we add p to x, we shift the graph either left or right. If p is positive, the function will shift to the left. If it is negative, it will shift to the right. Let's see how the graph y equals sine into brackets x minus 30 degrees compares to the standard function. Here's our standard function. The new graph y equals sine into brackets x minus 30 degrees has been shifted 30 degrees to the right. Only the x values have changed. Let's revise what we've done so far. In the formula, y equals a times sine k into brackets x plus p plus q, a vertically compresses or stretches the graph, and the value of k horizontally compresses or stretches the graph. p shifts the graph horizontally, q shifts the graph vertically. All these variables can make the formula look pretty confusing. You should only ever be asked to work with two variables at a time, so don't get too overwhelmed. Just memorize the effect each one has on the graph and you'll do fine. Thank you for joining us, Grade 11s. To learn more about trig functions, visit our website www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. For more practice, remember to try the questions in the task video. Goodbye.